When I was in eighth grade, um, my mom was diagnosed with cancer. Um, and I was the youngest child and all of my other siblings had already gone away to college or moved out. Um, and every time that she had to go do chemo, she had to kind of get herself prepared and rev up for it. She always wanted to be doing something with her hands and um, and they had to stick it in the top of her hand and so she couldn't really do anything and it was really it was really hard for her every time she had to go do it. it took several hours. Um, but as I said, I was the youngest child and she was really tired out by all this process and um, we, we couldn't really do uh, as much around the house as we wanted to. Um, so the women in our ward started coming um, to clean while she was gone at chemo. Um, and because of, of that her, her immune system was compromised, they couldn't stay and see her. So they would just come while she was gone and leave before she came back. Um, and every time she came home, she said it felt like angels had been there. Um, and that was something that really stuck with me because um, these women, uh, just ordinary women, were coming and doing a small act of service for a woman who couldn't really do it for herself. Um, and in the process of it, um, they were made angels and we were made the recipients of the ministering of angels. So uh, both sides were um, kind of sanctified in the process and it just reminded me of how simple acts of service can really go a long way in blessing people's lives.